<laughs> so uh, when you hung your pads up for the last time, how have you applied those I things think. to your uh, trials and tribulations to your personal life? You know, I, I have, it's a good and bad, to be honest with you, because I don't have any quit in me. Any quit in me at all. And when somebody tells me I can't do something, I, it, it motivates me so much to, to go harder, to keep going, to keep trying. Um, I w you know, I wish I didn't have that football in me one time when I went to Vegas <laughs> because I was trying to win. And my that mentality, like, no, keep going until you win. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Never give up, never give up, you know. And that doesn't go good with, with, with gambling in Vegas. I can tell you that much, <laughs> but I mean, but in other life situations, man, not giving up is, is something that's important. Like take, for instance, um, right when I finished playing football, um, I, I actually had cancer my last year playing and didn't know it. Um, and so I ended up having to get a whole surgery and all that stuff. I had a colostomy bag for six months. I had the chemo treatments, all of that good stuff, uh, radiation. And that football that was instilled in me to not give up, I, the whole time I had cancer, I was like, man, I don't care. I'm going to beat it. I'm going to beat it. The doctors would tell me something might not be the best news. I didn't want to hear that. Well, it's okay because I'm still going to beat it. My mentality is whatever it is, I'm going to beat. There's no excuses. And don't come in here with any excuses, doc. That's what I used to tell the doctor. Don't come in here with the excuses. You just come in here with a game plan, and I'm going to make the game. I'm going to get ready to make a play out here. They used to think I was crazy in there because I talked football with them. You know, like I speak in football terms. I was like, Doc, so what's the game plan for the day? We got to be prepared so we can win the game. We, I can't win if you don't have if you don't have me prepared. I can't win out here. And, you know, so preparation in life, I learned from football preparation, hard work, dedication, mentality, in which that mentality is to never give up, never give in. Those things have carried me throughout my life, you know, and that's one of the reasons now why I do a lot of uh, inspirational speech and speaking, and I mentor so many people, um, you know, because, you know, in life, like you said, when football is over, which it will end for every single person on this planet, then you'll live life. And then so now you need these qualities in life that, well, you haven't really been in real life yet. So you, you understand what I'm saying? And that's kind of difficult for people. So I teach them that, you know, some life, life learning tools, you know what I mean? Never get down. Don't get too down on yourself. Bounce back. Uh, believe in yourself. You know, surround yourself with the right type of people that are supportive and good things will happen, you know. Negative things, negative outcomes are, are, are followed negative thoughts. Positive in outcomes, you know, comes from positive thinking, positive thoughts, believing in yourself, surrounding yourself with the right people. Don't put yourself in bad positions. And then you, you'll be able to get further in life. Definitely. But, but that was all from football. Hey, hey it teaches you a lot. People in – yeah, it's Some more than just, it's more than just win, winning. Definitely, hey, it's a team team bonding experience too. You take uh, white people, Caucasian people, black people, Asian people, and you get them all in the room for one purpose. Yeah, you know that's that's some of the best things, man, I'm, I'm, uh, that I like in life, man. When I watch a movie and there's different races that come together, I used to love Lethal Weapon because. You know, Danny Glover was black, and and uh, and and, and uh, Mel Gibson was white, and uh, how they they just had a love that was just, you know, it just makes you feel good. Like, look, man, it's not about your color and all that stuff because I don't care if you're green, purple, whatever you are, white, black, Chinese, you know, Indonesian, it, whatever you are, you wake up and you have good days and you have bad days. How, the question is: Is how are you gonna operate, and how are you gonna how are you gonna deal with those days to where to level it all out, you know? And some people go use crazy stuff, you know. Some people, you know, fall victim to drugs, partying, all this other stuff, and which are all outlets in life, what people consider to be outlets. But the truth is, 
the quicker you can learn to begin to get those outlets under control in life, the better off you are and the better chance you have and the better chance you have at not doing something that's going to set you 20 steps back in life. You know, and that's all I care about when I, with people, man, I want to see if somebody's doing good. You know what I mean? I want to see if you, how, if, if you, if you're feeling good, I call a lot of guys um, on the phone every Sunday. I just want to hear your voice, man. Just want to see how you're doing, man. And tell you, man, let's, let's, you know, keep it going, man. And things going to be okay. Um, because I think that's more important in life than, you know, we'll talk about football and stuff if they want to afterwards. But the main focus of my phone calls that I do on every Sunday is just to check in with people and make sure that they're doing all right. How you feeling, you know, and, and, and how's everything going? How are you coping with everything in life? Because that's the main thing about this life, man, is how are you coping with the different situations that are coming about, about in this life? Definitely. A hey, another good example of a movie is Rush Hour. Rush Hour. Oh, is I love that. That. <laughs> that is my, that is you know what? That's probably my favorite. I just Lethal Weapon. I'm kind of old, and I used, I grew up watching that one. All of the Lethal Weapon, but that is an awesome one too, man. Um, I love that one, man. I love you know Rudy is like my Rudy is like my. I cry every time during Rudy, because when he gets a chance to play and the team starts clapping and. That I still catch those Dame. feelings. Yeah, <laughs> I catch all of those feelings, man. And you know, I just like to see a great success story, man. When somebody things were down for a person, I love to see the success story and how they make it. Um, you know, and how you overcome something. You know what I mean? I mean, that's that's just big for me in my life. For sure. Hey, everyone wants to see that Cinderella story. I think that's the biggest thing in life, Absolutely. man. 